Hello and welcome again. We need to discuss a little bit about the operation sort and in or before we move into the random number generators because this is a concept that is very important here and you might maybe had this question so why we are using this one sort for increasing of bits instead of the bitwise and or the bitwise or. Now there's a reason for that and the reason is because of the property of sort. Uh, let's say it randomized better the encryption. So what, do, what do I mean by that? So let's suppose, let's suppose the following thing. I'm, I'm gonna do start with sore, okay? and remember the encryption here is done on bits, so zeros and ones. So what happens if I want to encrypt? So I have here a plain text, a plain text, and let's just look at just bit by bit. So plain text, and my plain text is a zero. So if I look at the uh, at the sword here, this operation, sword. If I encrypt the zero, the node here by x is zero, and these two rows here, this row and this row. So if I have a zero, and I encrypt it, so my my string that encrypts the the bitwise the big white operation is either a one or a zero. So if I encrypt a zero, I have two possibilities. I have I can have a one, or I can have a zero. Again, if I in my plain text is a zero in these two cases, uh, if I have a one, then I get a one. If I have zero, I get a zero. So this is going to be the string of the s's that we talked about earlier. So if I have a zero in the bit in the big wise, then what I can have is I have I can have either a zero or can I can have either a one. And this part here is the the zero and one is the possibilities for the cipher text for the cipher text. The same is going to happen with the one. So the one here uh, is going to have exactly the same possibilities. So if I have a one that is a plain text, a one from a plain text, that one, once I encrypt it with SOAR, depending on the S I have, so for example here, I'm looking at X equals one. So if I encrypt it with uh, an S which is zero, it gives me one. If I encrypt it with an S that is one, it gives me zero. So I have two possibilities here. So I have, I have uh, I can have zero and I can have one. So what that means is, given any bit that I have here, any bit either zero or one in my plain text, there is a fifty chance, fifty percent chance that I get either a zero or a one, similar with the one. Now that property does not happen if you just look at the encryption with n. Let's say for example you decide that you want to encrypt with the um, this gate with the gate and so let's let's think about it again in the same way so I have a plain text of course it's, it's made out of zeros and ones so and my plain text is a zero and I'm encrypted with and so what's gonna happen if I encrypt with n a zero right so an n and I encrypt it with zero uh, to encrypt a zero I have to put either a one or a zero depending on that I get two possibilities right so if I have a zero with an n if my string of s is a one, then I get a zero. And if I'm a string of zero, if I have the s's that are zero, I get zero too. So zero goes into zero, both times. You see, that's not very good. So what that's saying basically is, if this is the cipher text, this this here will be the cipher text. The possibilities for the cipher text. So if an attacker sees a string of zeros and ones, and this is very important, you have to pay attention here. If it's a string of zeros and ones, and he he, he or she knows that the uh, the encryption is an end, then what happens here is he knows already that the plain text has a zero in that position. So it's not encrypting the zero, it's just doing nothing to the zero. Okay, the the end is gonna encrypt is gonna have a 50% chance of one encrypting to a zero and a one encrypting to a one. But for zero that doesn't happen. So if you encrypt something with and and it's written as a string of zeros and ones, if an attacker sees that cipher text and you see a zero there, it means that the plain text had a zero there. So you're giving up a lot of information there. That doesn't happen with the sword. If if the attacker sees, sees a zero, it could easily come from a zero or could easily come from a one. So that's a big difference. So that's why you don't use the and 
for encryption. You use the sort because it gives you 50% chance for each possibility for a zero and for a one. For the OR gate, a similar thing is going to happen. So this is the a true table for the OR gate. This is the OR gate here. And so what happens if I try to encrypt, let's say, a, a, a zero, right? A one. Let's say a one. I have to encrypt a one. So what happens with that? So my my plain text is is this this one right here. This is my this is part of my plain text. It's a one. Now if you encrypt a one, you put it an s, a sum s that is either a zero or a one. So if I have a one, that is my plain text, and I encrypt it with a zero, it gives me one. And the same thing happens if I have my plain text, and I encrypt it with a value of s, which is a one, it gives me one. And this is again really bad. Why? Because again, every time an attacker sees the string of zeros and ones, and he or she knows that you're using an OR gate, then if he sees a, if he or she sees as one, then she or he will immediately know that the plain text is a one. So you don't want to use the OR, and you don't want to use the AND. Because what you want to do when you encrypt something, you want to give as less information as possible to the attacker. And this sort here, the one that we have, is given the less information as possible. Because if, if an attacker sees a 1, it could easily come from a 0, and it could easily come from a 1. So that's the reason why uh, when we use encryption and we want to use some of those uh, bitwise operations like SOAR, AND, and OR, and others, you really want this one because it gives you, it obscure the message much better than the end in the OR. So I just wanted to make a mention to that, but I think is that was uh, that is a very important to mention why we use an, an XOR there. So now after this, after we, uh, this video, we're actually gonna talk about um, random number generators. So I'll see you in the next video.